We're almost done with Phantasmal Steed restoration, but there is still one more card to be discussed, and it's a doozy. Stand up, Bangano! Hey Carfighters, welcome back to the last card for the update concerning the Phantasmal Steed restoration set as today was the last live stream reveal as well as the last notable card to be revealed as after this triple R that we're going to discuss today the only things that are left are just the rares and commons that we're going to get probably tomorrow or the day after tomorrow when the bulk release will be revealed by Freedom Duel and usually I don't tend to cover those cards as I'm going to cover them once we hit in to the set reviews uh, probably in about two to three weeks from this video in time even though we only got one card revealed and it was the last triple r for shell pattern it is an amazing card not only for the new Mordred Phantom uh, Blaster Dark build, but also just for Shadow Paladin in general, as it is a pretty sick card. But beside that, we also got all the high rarity reveals in terms of the new SPs, SVRs, as well as the cross Vanguard rares, and of course the Marker Secret Rare. So without further ado, let's discuss this last card, and then I'm gonna show you all the pretty pictures of these high rarity cards, and we're gonna jump right into the new set reviews after today's video for Aerial Steed Liberation. So the card that was revealed today was the Shell Paladin Triple R and it is a great free as that is Danger Long Dragon and it got two very interesting skills. So first off we have Auto and Vanguard Circle when placed cost Soul Blast 1 and return a grade 2 card from your drop zone to your hand. So what's awesome about this card is that you can write this as your first grade 3 and then soul bless a grade 2 from your soul and then put it into drop zone and then immediately fetch it back to hand. So this is an ideal first ride target for the new Mordred Phantom build. As Mordred Phantom as a first grade 3 doesn't really do that much. Yes, you can generate force markers with your bless the dark, but that leaves them open on the field for retire clans and that's not really what you want to do and you want to save it for when your opponent is hitting their grade 3 so you can attack them with multi attacks. What you can do is write this thing as your first grade 3 gain the forest marker as it has a forest marker and you can soul bless your grade 2 and fetch it back to hand as i described earlier so this thing can hit two very interesting targets as you can of course hit your masquerade grade 2 as the previous turn you can ride it check the top 7 maybe get a mortar phantom or a blessed the dark to hand and then follow up your turn by calling stuff and all that kind of jazz then what you can do afterwards with this turn is soul blast it get it back to hand and then call it and have another go at checking the top seven with the same masquerade so it helps with consistency of the build in general but also you can opt to go for the blaster dark grade two turn as you can ride up the blaster dark use its skill get the twin drive draw a bunch more cards that you need all your key pieces and then soul blast that blaster dark and get it back to hand as you need a blaster dark for your later turn with mortar phantom so that way you can use your blaster dark Dark more effectively while adding other stuff. The only thing is that if you didn't write those two cards, there isn't really a good target to soul blast for a grade 2 uh, for this card. But if you have the masquerade in your hand or a blasted dark in your hand, you can opt to use it as a guard value the previous turn as you put it in your drop zone and then you can fetch it back with this one. So that's also a play that you can do. But then we get to its second ability, and this is where the card becomes from, oh, it's an interesting support card to a outright insane good card. As its second ability is auto Vanguard the regular circle, when it attacks, if you have three or more force markers, and that doesn't specify that it needs to be under this unit, cost Soul Bliss one grade three, and until the end of the battle, this unit gets power plus 10k and critical plus one. And your opponent cannot call sentinels from hand. If that sounds familiar, that's because it is the exact same skill for Dragonic Waterfall. The only difference is, is that this is a Vanguard and Rearguard Circle skill. So you have a Waterfall that works on the Rearguard Circle as well. And that it has the restriction that you need to have three Force Markers or more. However, that restriction doesn't really hinder the card at all. As we've seen with the Mordred Phantom build. As we're gonna enable to get a lot of Force Markers very quickly with our Blaster Dark. So that is actually not a problem. So what we now have is we have a support grade 3 that is an ideal first ride target when we went first 
but also in a late game it's an ideal rearguard target as you can then swing for very high numbers with an extra crit and extra power as you probably have at least one maybe two force markers underneath this unit when you call to the rigor circle so that's a plus 30 on this bad boy that's a 43k two crit with no pg to it so yeah that can be a really really scary car attack unit and if you combine that with the mordred phantom with the restand of blasted arc you can see the scary stuff this deck can dish out and by the default this card is looking pretty insane however there are some issues with it because first off it is a little bit awkward with Mordred Phantom because Mordred Phantom isn't really live when your opponent isn't at grade 3 meaning if you went first your first grade 3 turn isn't really that powerful you write this thing or you write Mordred Phantom but if you write Mordred Phantom you only generate potentially markers if you have your blessed dark otherwise mortal phantom is a dead card but if you write this thing you only get a grade 2 to hand and it's probably the grade 2 that you're gonna soul bless so which one you written on top of the previous turn but that's everything you're gonna do meaning your grade 2 turn isn't really all that significant either for the new build we have blessed dark and a new masquerade maybe we're gonna run mecha but it is the question if if we're gonna do that and also if we run that that's still not really that significant so the new shadow pattern and build early game is a lot less aggressive as we're used to meaning our opponent can easily sustain when they went first instead of when you usually if your opponent went first that's a bad thing now it's actually a good thing as their first right target isn't really that significant and then if they followed up with a more than phantom with a multi-tag yes they have one turn of a multi-tag but only the turn after that so the third grade free turn, you can actually utilize this card effectively as then going into it as a rear guard will probably be significant in the way that you can use it in combination with your Blasted Dark. Because if you do it on the second turn right afterwards, when you immediately ride into Mav Mortal Phantom, you're not going to use your Blasted Dark all that effectively. Yes, you have one restand for a counter blast, but you could use it as a double restand. So... It is a little bit awkward with what the deck wants to do. It's very powerful, but it does leave some awkward uh, room with what you want to play at. Also, because it is a probably a rear guard unit onto the field, it forces your opponent to have a consistent way of rewriting. Because in Waterfall's case, each and every time that you're rewritten, you have the Great Freak to Soul Blast. But the new Mordred Phantom build isn't really about rewriting your Great Freaks. It's about calling your Blessed Darts and keep swinging with them, and you don't care if you couldn't rewrite that turn as your skills are still alive. However, because you have this Great Free that wants to Soul Blast a Great Free, if you went second and you ride up to Mordred Phantom, you cannot use this card, and if you didn't rewrite onto a new Mortal Phantom the following turn, you can still not use this card. And yes, you can write this thing onto your second turn, but if you do that, then you can no longer utilize your Blessed Darks in any kind of way unless you rewrite back into a Mortal Phantom the following turn. And it can be very powerful, but it depends on the scenario. In Waterfall's case, the whole deck was featured around the card. In this case, it's basically a nice tech card that works if things go well. But if things aren't going really smoothly, it can be much the case that this card doesn't do anything either. Yes, you can potentially get a grade 2 back to your hand, but late game you don't really care for that as you just replace your Vanguard that can maybe utilize your grade 2s in some kind of way. And of course, the biggest problem of this card, and that's basically the biggest issue of the new build for Mortal Phantom, is you need to draw your pieces. Just like Waterfall, the biggest issue of the deck was you didn't redraw into a new Waterfall. In this case, as I just described, it's a rearguard skill, so you don't have to redraw into that one, you just need to draw a new Great Free. But for the Mordred Phantom build, you want to then redraw your Fen Mordred Phantom because you want to keep sitting on that card to reuse your Blessed Darks in some kind of way to be able to restand or get more force markers out of them. And to be honest, that means the deck needs to draw into their Mordred Phantoms, it needs to draw into the Blessed of Darks, it needs to draw into their Masquerade either to get their Mordred Phantom or the Blessed of Darks, and then if you want to use this card, you then also need to draw into this thing as well, as nothing really helps with the synergy. And yes, Masquerade helps with a little bit with the consistency, but then again, it's a check top 7, and not something like Tristan that just outright searched the card. So I have seen it happen that the card just whiffs, and you didn't see anything on your top 7. 
This new grid free does help when you write it as a first target to soul bless your masquerade and then use it again to have another go at it if you failed or you want to get another card. So there are some synergies together and it is a good support card, but I don't think it's just outright broken or busted as Waterfall was out to be and even now Waterfall isn't really that scary. So I think this card is just a good tech card for the new Mordred Phantom build and it helps to basically fill the niche in when they went first and they have a new right target to go into as you don't really want to go more the phantom as your first grade three if your opponent's still at grade two as there aren't really that significant places you can do it's just waiting until your opponent is at grade three so this at least opens up that play field so overall a pretty solid card in my opinion but that's basically the last major card that we got for this set so that means we're basically done with the card reveals for phantasmal steed restoration however as i as stated in the beginning of the video we also got the card reveals of the sps svr and all those high rarity cards so i'm gonna showcase them right now on the screen so you can see which cards got the sp how they look and in general they are the same design that we got for aerial seed liberation and to be honest i like the this svr design and i hope they're gonna keep it for a couple sets so i can have maybe my new vr for gear chronicle in the same style so yeah overall pretty good reveals i think this has been a very exciting set for all clans dark regulars pill moon murakuma and shadow paladin all got some awesome support i think everybody can be happy about what they got because there is a lot of good stuff in this set and i cannot wait until we get to the set reviews and deck profiles or deck spotlights to all to this set as there is a lot of fun stuff to talk about but before that we're gonna hit right into the aerial steed liberation set videos as tomorrow we're gonna kick off with the set reviews and i believe we're gonna start off with gold paladin so if you're interested in that then come back tomorrow as there is a lot of new vanguard content coming to the channel but with that said i want to know what you guys think of this new support for shadow plan this new card as well as the general support of all the cards and clans that i got in this set because as i just said there is a lot of interesting stuff so i want to know what you guys think of this new support let me know in the comments down below with all your opinions and thoughts and uh, topics concerning the last reveals for phantasmal steed restoration as always i want to thank my patreon supporters over at patreon for making this video possible you guys are amazing if you do want to support the channel and everything that's happening on the channel as well as future projects on the channel then head over to patreon.com slash vanguard insider and become a patreon today but with that said i'm mr time leap and i'll see you guys in the next one